Woo! AJ Burnett gave me agita. And the Daily News newspaper summed it up best. Who's a bum? Not AJ. We're coming back to the Bronx. Mic check, mic check. What's kicking, family? I'm glad you've clicked in so I can check in with you. This is Mr. Batch here, dropping it like it's hot, pertaining to the New York Yankees. That's right, how the Beantown people refer to us as the Evil Empire. But look what happened to Boston. <laughs> I'm loving it because in one of my previous videos, I had spoke about the ALDS going five games. You know, I said five games, and we're going to come back. And of course, I want to see, I want to see, you know, the Yankees get that gate receipt. It just so happens for game one, I was out with the uh, the youth football organization, and they had a football game in the shadows of Yankee Stadium. Game one that Friday night, September 30th, that got rained out. Well, when it had rained real hard, you know, we still play football. But when we were playing football, it got awfully quiet in the stadium and the rain was coming down. And we had learned later that the game had went, uh, was stopped and then picked up. So my prognostication pontification has come to fruition. Woo! Uh, almost got lacerations of the tongue. All right. Game five is coming up. But let's talk about game four real quick. I'm not going to keep you guys too much. I had to go out and get my daily paper. As you've seen in the, is it this way or this way? I'll figure it out one of these days. I had who's the bum. They said who's the bum? AJ. AJ Burnett is not the bum. But you know what it said on the cover of the Daily News? Back in it because who was that dude on Detroit that said it's over? Dude, you are stupid. You don't ever say that to the Yankees. Family, all you got to do is you got to play your game. Up to saying, yeah, it's over. You doing all. Yo, with moves like that, you need to be on Dancing with the Stars and not playing baseball. But moving right along, let's get into more of game four. They refer to um, A.J. Burnett as Mr. October. Forget that his seven and change ERA. Five and two innings, two-thirds. Four hits, one run, one earned run, four walks, three strikeouts, 81 pitches, 49 of them for strikes. And I'm telling you, I was on the edge of my seat for every last one of them. Every last one of them. I mean, for the time the first inning started, look, I'm not going to lie. A.J. Burnett has been an enigma. Somebody who can, like, throw and just like, yo, he's got great stuff. And then the next thing you know... He has an implosion and he gives up a salami. As the game was progressing last night, I was hoping that Girardi would not let that happen. We were able to get those runs early. And then on top of that, my man, Grandy Man, Grandison. You know, you know, Grandison, you know, a couple of days ago, they put, you know, they've been putting pictures and posters in the whole nine. 
you know, for the ALDS, how you like this one? Yeah, that wasn't the night, that wasn't last night's catch. This was. Let me show you something else from the paper. Hold still now, hold still, don't go anywhere. That's right, you've seen it. They said call him Grandison because he closed them out last night. Also last night in the 10 run barrage, Teixeira and A-Rod woke up. Jesus Montero got two hits last night. Everything started to unfold and unwrap. I don't know why Leland left homeboy in there. Or was it Phil Coke or another? He left one pitcher. Yeah, I think it was Phil Coke and uh, the batters that was coming up. I think it was uh, uh, Swisher, A-Rod, Teixeira. They were all batting better right-handed than they were left-handed. And they left Coke in there and he, and he paid. That's plain and simple. They did not have the bullpen to match that of the Yankees. And now that we're going to be at home, they definitely don't have the bullpen to match us. Because everything comes down to it. It comes down to <coughs> our trifecta to close it out, and they hand it off to the man known as this Enter the Sandman, Mariano. So tonight what I'm looking forward to is I'm looking forward to Teixeira, A-Rod, coming through, getting some big hits. They need to, you know, get some hits in. A-Rod's first significant hit was a sack fly RBI, which got him off that little schneid. Teixeira got another hit. Uh, they've been having the shift on. But overall, I believe that in this fifth game, we have all the makings in order to go to the next round. And uh, we're going to do it in fine fashion. The weather's going to be great on Thursday for the Yankees. And I don't think a rain delay will slow us down. Uh, I believe that they're going to be having Nova on the mound, the rookie. And he pitches like a veteran. He's not caught up in the moment. You know, because sometimes some of these guys come in and, you know, their eyes get big as saucers. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Get real big and, you know, the, the, the magnitude of the moment gets them. Because in the postseason, it's a whole different animal than regular season. You got 162 games to play around. In the postseason, you don't. You got X amount of games. And Thursday night is the elimination game for the New York Yankees against the Detroit Tigers. And the Yankees will come out on top. This is Mr. Batch. I'm out of here like I stole something. Peace.